Barbara asks. All right, Barbara has a question. Um, audience targeting does not seem to work. Uh, we're working with SharePoint Online. I have enabled audience targeting for a specific library. Then I have filled in the audience field for one file with the name of, of a security group. Uh, the file is published. This is all done three weeks ago. Still, my test user, who is not part of the security group, still sees the file with audience set to that specific security group. Can anyone help me with this? Any ideas what might be the problem? Well, the first thing that flags me is it says security group because security groups and SharePoint groups are two different things because the SharePoint groups are Office 365 groups. Now, why that is, I don't know because I don't do the technical side of that. But in my experience, when I've tried to turn on audience targeting and tried to use a group that I thought existed, it didn't work. So maybe, I know, Stacy, you, you uh, might have some insight as to why that doesn't work. Yeah, so it, it depends on the type of site too, right? Um, I mean, you're sitting here looking between a group site and a regular site, which is a, an unknown here. But um, when you're giving a list, when you're giving permissions, direct permissions essentially to a file, like she's trying to say here, you don't actually have the ability at this point for audience targeting itself. She's adding a group to it, right? So that group has to exist. But was that group created as a security group or is it a, a different kind of group and she's thinking it is right um that is somewhat of an unknown audience targeting you find more in navigation web parts etc um, not at the folder or document level that's direct permissioning so i feel like there's a disconnect there a little bit with what she's trying to set because that far you're not going to find audience targeting yeah. So and it, think it's, and it doesn't change their permission. It just hides it from it. Like yeah. the web part, if you go to the full list, you're going to, you know, that's a like a news web part. If you go to the full list where it lives, you're going to see everything. It doesn't lock people out of seeing content. It just right. filters it in that mm -hmm. web part. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and typically most people aren't trained or have the access to even get to site contents. They don't view it if they don't have certain permissions right on there. So it goes to permissions. And, you know, she, I think that she's combining the two instead of looking at them as two separate entities. And I think that's where her confusion is. And she right now she just needs to focus strictly on permissions itself and not worry so much about the audience targeting piece of that. Yep.